What's up guys, what I have for you today is an iPhone application review called Mobile Mouse. Now what this does is uses your iOS device as a mouse to control your PC or Mac. Now before you can use this application, you must download the server onto your computer. Uh, and I will leave a link down in the description below. But let's get on with the application. Alright, so here's the interface. So you basically have a trackpad here as well as your keyboard. And if you want to cover the keyboard, you shake the phone down. And here's your left button, your right click button, as well as your scroll wheel. And your trackpad to move around your cursor. Now let's take a look at the options you have here. So here, are, here's the settings. Now here's the servers tab. Uh, this tab basically shows you the servers that are available to use this application with and, and that's my computer is connected to. And it shows you how active your Wi-Fi connection is such as, as you can see right now, I have full bars. Let's go to the options tab. And you have some more options here such as force vertical, sound, tap, click, drag, lock, pinch to zoom, left handed, natural scroll, frequency, key buffer, sleep, stay connected, as well as the proximity sensor. And of course, support, you just have help from mobile mouse. So now let's take a look at how this application actually performs. So uh, we're gonna drag our cursor here, as you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit here. All right, so here's the iPhone. And as you can see, I am moving my cursor right now. Two finger tap at the same time. Uh, is performs your right click. Let's go on to a web browser here. As you can see, apple.com. Use the scroll wheel to scroll down. Use the left button to click, so let's click on iPad. There you go. Right click. And we're going to pinch and zoom to zoom in. Pinch and zoom to zoom out. And then, of course, let's go on the website. Let's go to google.com. So you're going to shake the phone down to show up your keyboard. As you can see, we're on Google right now. Now, please note, I tried to use the shift button and to keep the letters caps, but on the computer it doesn't show up. However, on the iPhone it does. So just be uh, aware of that, and that's something to keep in mind of. So overall, like what's my review of this application? On a one to five scale, I give it a um, four and a half stars. Uh, I, I mainly use this when I have the uh, computer connected to the TV through HDMI and when I want to enjoy my entertainment I don't want to get up and use the trackpad or the uh, mouse I have just to uh, go to a different video I just grab my iPhone open up the application and just use this application. Uh, the only reason why I knocked it off a little bit was because some of the functions didn't work properly. Uh, but as a result, I am happy with this application. Uh, go check it out. If you like this video, uh, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below on what you uh, thought about this application. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.